Hey guys, Accountability Angel here, and we are outside of LaSalle County Sheriff's Office on Etna Road in Ottawa, Illinois. It's 11.18 a.m. on December 9th, 2021. I am turning in three separate complaint forms for the actions, discrimination, and behavior displayed by multiple employees of the LaSalle County Sheriff's Office, including Kurt Pastrick, Vicki Leadingham, Donna Ortiz, Jim Noblock, and Donna Ortiz again um, for discriminating against me based on my gender, for bullying me while trying to file complaints, and for three separate individuals playing music as I attempted to turn in a complaint back on February 25th, 2021, including Miss Donna Ortiz, Mr. James Noblock, aka No Name, and one of the men from the state's attorney's office, Joe Navarro, who is um, believed to have done it a time before then, but I have not yet received the footage from what I FOIA'd to confirm for sure that. So I will be leaving my phone outside. They told me they will not lock me out, but they refused to um, give me a copy of my own. They just told me I needed to go take a photo but they don't know whether I paid my phone bill, whether my phone broke, anything like that. Um, or if I even have a phone as it's obviously cold in December in Illinois and the cold is not good for electronics. Those flags look awful sad. That one actually, both of them are tattered. If you can see, both of them are tattered. Is anybody surprised? I don't think so. All right, I did um, turn in my FOIA request forms while I was in here after court. I saw them uh, abusing a local woman who has actually sent me videos of their uh, abuse in the past, but I witnessed her having a peaceful protest up, upstairs, and they were trying to give her issues bullying her for simply doing that and trying to show them um, some form of evidence, I'm unsure. But... Oh, go ahead. But, um, so we're going to go in here, try to turn these in without being bullied and, uh, trying to have them interfere with the complaint process. I have indeed called Miss Donna Ortiz out for her role in playing music on my wonderful subscribers. Hey, hey, is the one who, uh, discovered it. I noticed the noise in the video. I'm speaking of, I'll later post the description down below, but I did not realize that it was her doing something like that. I did actually go back and look last night, though, and it's absolutely true. I'm not even surprised. Um, but they do indeed have their FOIAs, complaint forms, and pens all available at the front little basket, actually. So they have changed that. So I'm going to just kind of set this down somewhere. Cameras here are terrible, so I don't expect them to uh, catch whoever steals my phone. Hello. Hello. Can I turn them in? Yes, I need to come in and turn my computer. Do I have my cell phone? No, you don't. I didn't know that you, you started there. You just let a man in here that I was standing up there talking to with a smartwatch who he was able to make phone calls and video chat with. Did I, check I don't want to come in right next to you. I don't want to be accused of battery, Donna. Well, I have to hold the door open for the box. Well, is it locked? You're trying to create close space. Well, I am. How are you? Good. How are you? I just have to drop this off. No yeah. cell phone, no pocket knife, no pepper spray, no nope. pepper spray. Ever had anybody call that threatening method? I want to make sure that's clear. I want to make sure that's very clear. Just wait till I go after her to fight on that lawsuit back against you. 
Isn't that craziness? Yeah. How you been? Living the dream. Actually, very, very good. Good for you. I hope you drive by my house and see my sign if you're ever in Peru. You got a sign out there? Oh, Tara's on it. There's like oh, 10 of really? them on it. Oh, you don't understand. They're going down for what they did to me. They fucked with the wrong one. It's... It was a complete and utter setup, and we have so much proof of it, I can't wait for it. Yeah. We finally got our trial date, though, so I'm excited. Is and I'm not my own lawyer. Good. Yeah, really oh, you mean, yeah, like, like, you mean your criminal case? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, the rest I, of it's coming. Dude, I'm telling you, Terry's yeah. a fucking liar. I didn't oh, even know who no, she was. Because the FOIA thing, they fuck with y'all. They literally, I just got, I just got proof of it the other day where Donna refused to give me the FOIA forms under Vicky Leadingham's words or whatever. And then I was like, all right, give me blank paper, that's fine. Because they told me I had to use that. And then they came out, refused to give me that with obviously the public funds. But right in front of my hit face, they hand them to my brother saying, here's your FOIA form. The same exact <laughs> amount. If that's not sexual discrimination of some level, I don't know what is. I wish you the best of luck, kid. Hey, thank you. Take care of yourself. That's actually, guys, that is Eric Miskell. That is Tara's uh, lawyer that she used when I tried to get the uh, no stalking order. I'm pretty sure it picked up. I didn't want to get my camera in the middle of our combo. But, um, okay, so I went inside. Deputy Arthur actually treated me with kindness and respect. I don't believe I've dealt with him before. Um, very simple, quick thing where he gave me my copies. Like, why? why is this so bad? And as you guys heard what the attorney had to say, um, he knows she's a fucking hoot. Oh, there I am with my bad words again. Can I get myself kicked off? But uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, if you guys heard, uh, I was speaking to Donna. I was upstairs there where the windows are, and I was kind of keeping an eye on the Pollyanna thing because I didn't want her to get arrested. Um, and then, because they had multiple officers kind of bugging her, all this, trying to tell her to calm down. She wasn't even being bad. She was just saying what she had to say, you know, and walking around, doing her thing. And um, as I was standing there and kind of chit-chatting with the guy that was up there, because he was kind of asking, because I, obviously I was throwing my two cents in when they were, were treating her poorly. I forgot to tell him about the flag. Um, I will in a second. But when they were treating her poorly, um, but the man I was speaking to, his like Apple Watch or Smart Watch went off and he got a phone call and he's sitting there talking on it and everything. When they're supposed to be checking him for that, I was arrested outside. I was arrested outside. So we'll see. Even their own lawyers know they're freaking nutbags. But I do want to report about the flag. Um, because as you see, we have a tattered American flag and the POW flag. Um. I swear I thought I reported this before. I probably did, and they don't care, obviously. Look at that. They got all the money in the world to stand there and pay them to harass the people. But they can't repair or change the, uh, the flag. They're ignoring me now. Donna! Donna's mad at me. I, I called her out. I'll tell you what, I did call her out for... um her playing that music against me, among other things. Her part in uh, denying me forms and my brother got them. Donna! See, guys? Look how they treat us. It's the LaSalle County Sheriff's Office. All I want to do is tell them about this flag. Reva noticed me. I don't know. What? What? Hey, I don't know what she said. I don't know why she thinks I can hear her through a door. She can't hear me knocking through a door, apparently. I'm trying to finger to her to come here. She's not coming. She's being a... Yeah, she's frazzled. She don't know what to do. Donna. Whatever, I'll report it on here. 
Donna's mad at me because uh, I told her exactly how I felt inside, so she's a little in her feels. She should be. But all of her loved ones are ashamed. Hello? <sighs> well, guys, I am trying to report this tattered flag just so they're aware. Hello? Yeah, um, I tried to report it to Donna, but for some reason she thought I could hear her through a door, uh, and I can't. But um, anyway, we have a tattered American flag out here, and also your POW flag needs some loving too. Um, but I would just like to request that it be repaired and or replaced um, so we can proudly fly it. Not that they can proudly fly it here anyway. Okay, thank you. Take care. Er. Donna's just mad that she got dragged. I told her a long time before she even got fully dragged in. Well, at least as far as I know. That it would happen, and they'd, they'd throw her under the bus. And when I got in there, guys, when I got in there today, and I brought up Jim, and I said, how's Jim enjoying retirement to Reva? Because Jim supposedly retired before he could get fired. Or, like, the whole office. But anyway, yeah, it's kind of windy here. But, um, hey, look at this flag. what I'm talking. But, um... Anyway, Reva said that, you know, somebody had to take the blame, something like that. It was along those lines, like being the scapegoat thing. And I totally agree with that. And I knew that all along that Jim kind of got screwed and got himself right on in there and kept lying and then didn't stand up, didn't do anything. And I totally get it is hard to stand up because they will retaliate. But, um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not okay. Jim dug his grave. He, uh. He'll get his. I'll be surprised if that liar even shows up to our court date that's now scheduled. All right, guys. Well, we reported the flag. We got our business done. I attended court, turned in uh, three complaints, four or five FOIAs. Um, I'd say we did pretty well. And uh, we got to speak with Eric Miskell and tell him what a lying piece of crap Tara is when he, of course, was her lawyer. Who taught me that I should never, ever, ever try to be my own lawyer for any type of case. Um, which I already knew, but I was kind of too proud to want to lawyer up. And I thought that, you know, in the name of justice, that either the state's attorney's office and or Judge Ryan would have done something to stop this obvious abuse. But uh, they did not. The state's attorney's office is very clearly involved. I am not convinced that Judge Ryan is not involved because... The sheriff's office said he was. So that's all we got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Tell your friends. Watch out for tyrants. Bye.